Hello everybody, and welcome to my channel. Yes, I am coming to you in my pajamas on Easter Sunday with no makeup on, no nothing, no fluff of any kind. Um, I have a message for you from the wisdom of the House of Night. I love these cards, they're absolutely beautiful. I'll show them to you as I, as I read them. It says, logical thinking, reason, and using your mind to consider the next right action are the qualities encouraged by my vampire high priestess of air. Now is the time to think before you act. You are blessed with a wondrous mind and imagination. Your ability to communicate is enhanced when you meet the high priestess of air. Queen of Swords. This is the moment to have reasonable conversations and make calculated decisions. Okay. The, ne the next one is a risk. So you may be, um, that is on page 88, you may be wanting to take a risk. High Priestess says, calculate your actions. Okay. The risk card says, rather than worry about th how things will turn out, why not take that leap of faith? No matter what happens, something important will be experienced. This is a sign that you can prove something to yourself, and when you accomplish it, you will be proud that you did. Another meaning here is to ask yourself about your next action. Is it worth the risk you are taking? If the answer is no, don't do it. If yes, I will give you wings to fly and will catch you if you fall. This symbol also brings a gentle warning. Your risk shouldn't be motivated by boredom. This is a symbol of consequences as well as courage. Okay. That's the fool card. Then we have deceit. So there is some deceit at play here with whatever question you are asking about. Let's see what it says. These are new cards, guys, so I'm not sure what all of them mean just yet. I got to get to know them. Then I'm getting to know them with you guys. Uh, where is deceit? I don't see it. Maybe there's no such thing. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. 102. So, here we go. This might not be the final message. It might tell me to draw another one. That's what I like about these cards. They are very... Um, they're cool. I really like them. This says, In the house of night, there is one who has betrayed herself. And all those who looked up to her. I'm also warning you that someone may be stabbing you in the back. Regardless of the circumstances of your question, I warn you about deceit. There will be a price to pay for betrayal in all forms. Only you know how much it will cost. That said, although the energy of betrayal can be seductive, I am stronger. You are forewarned. And right under that, we have lust. Wishing for lust, but deceiving yourself. All risks that you are taking right now should be very carefully calculated, milady and me gentlemen you need to make sure that this risk is worth it because anything built out of deceit or betrayal you're warned about it now okay 
even even if you you don't feel like you're involved with anybody else there's somebody here it says be very careful about your motives in making your choices come from a place of integrity always babies always come from a place of integrity that way you cannot be deceived and you you this is a warning for you to be careful with these energies what are you asking and what are you going in with make sure you understand that okay That's a full moon message for whoever needed to hear it. <sighs> Happy Easter. Take care.